Lil Mama explains why she's hesitant to get married in today's dating environment. Quick chat, all right? Just want to get a few things off my like chest and mind, heart. Double standards to me, and I just want to make sure that we're clear that this is an opinion and not being stated as a fact. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Came like out of slavery. Like, don't say nothing because a massa may not have feed us. Now you in a home. You got your husband. He's working. You're cooking. You're bearing children and doing all the things that slavery taught women that this is the only thing that we can do. Bear children and cook and clean and make sure the house is clean for massa. I mean, uh, for the husband to come back home and, and provide and feed you. This is getting money. So a double standard right now, it, it ain't going to cut it. You got to come with what you come in with and expect for that to be given to you in return by the person that you so-called respect, your other half, your wife. Like me personally, I'm single by choice. I feel like being young and being in relationships has taught me about what I want and what I'm looking for and that half the time I don't know what that is. So before I commit to someone and say, you know what, I want to build the rest of my life out with you, whatever comes with that, be it me not knowing where I'm at at that moment, needing clarity, space, whatever, I can figure those things out, but it won't be a total waste of time of me not knowing that this is what I want. I feel like dating, you can do what you want, you can see who you want to see, and it doesn't have to have any like ties to it lying though and pretending that i'm in something i'm not for that and i won't accept that so yeah like we gotta wake up and and men have to stop being so like sensitive if you're whoring and scoring and always sliding in something foreign just expect the people that you're dealing with to be on the same type of time like it's it's almost like having people over your house when you're a little kid and you'd be like yeah these are my toys that's mine and that's my like no these are toys that everybody can play with like that's not a good example and it's horrible <laughs> terrible but if you choose in a lifestyle don't put constraints on another person to only be with you like oh you're supposed to just be mining for me but then you're out and, and just slinging left and right. It's like, women be embarrassed too. I hope y'all know that. Like, I don't, I don't, I, there's no double standard. We really be embarrassed. It's like, and on top of that, every female is not nice. Some people, in their mind, they may feel jealous or envious and it's like, oh, it's nothing I can do about it. He's with her. Some bitches will try to take you out. And I don't mean for a long walk through the park or a nice enchanting dinner. They're trying to take you the fuck out. I feel like when men don't give the woman who they're with, who they say they respect, your girl, your wife, honorable respect, it leaves the door open for anything. What if the girl you're messing with work at a restaurant? You go, we go sit down and eat, me and my girlfriends, and I get fucked or a bitch try to me out like people be thinking that that's going too far it's not going too far these are all the things that can be that can, can be so we need to think about these things we really do thanks for tuning in to nine mag tv